So, uh, while I was switching over, redoing the aquascaping and doing my water change and all that, did run into an issue that happened that was, gave me quite a big scare. I was sitting up here and I was doing the water change and I start noticing on my Reef Keeper Elite that the alarm started going off and I looked down on the head unit and it says my pH was at 8.5 well what had happened was when I was draining the tank out I forgot to turn off my uh, forgot to turn off my uh, what was that the auto top off system so here I have my 30 gallon auto top off tank which I have a uh, calc washer in so what it was doing is it dumped probably like a couple gallons of um, of RODI water with that calc washer in there and it just shot up my pH so immediately what I wind up doing was the water that I drained out of the tank I wind up putting some of that back in just to uh, just until I was able to bring my water down until uh, normal range. So I've also made some changes to the system just to uh, better suit this tank for being a reef tank. Uh, one thing I had done was add an additional overflow box. Um, the reason why I did that was I noticed this is a uh, seven foot long tank and I just had one overflow box here which is only about 12 inches so um, I wanted to get more draining ability um, going through this tank so I added this second overflow box I bought it used off of eBay and got it sent here and you can see there got the aqua lifter pump on top and it is draining down and drains down and it comes across and drops down into the first stage um, here in the first stage I usually had my uh, filter socks but right now um, I just have some uh, filter floss there uh, seems to be doing pretty uh, good better job for me so we'll see I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with the filter socks or just keep the filter floss there so uh, another thing I had um, before, just a uh, Fosban 150 reactor using the Seachem Matrix carbon in there. And that was doing good for me, but being that this is going to be upgraded to a reef tank, I um, also wanted to run GFO. So what I did was I went and got this uh, bulk reef supply uh, dual reactor. And in the first stage, I am running carbon, I mean not carbon, uh, GFO. And in the second stage, I am running the uh, ROX carbon. And this stuff is working great. It keeps my water crystal clear, so really recommend this stuff. Um, and if you look over here, we've got the uh, second stage in my uh, sump that used to be my refugium area. But I wind up removing that. Uh, my refugium started to resand. Um, my algae wasn't growing anymore. And um, it was just not doing as good of a job as it used to. I uh, started collecting a lot of detritus. So I removed uh, that. And I came up with the idea of actually turning this into a frag tank. So... Um, uh, part of me creating this frag tank, what I did, I uh, purchased another one of these lights here that I have, full spectrum lights, and I hung it from the top, from the stand, and I uh, got some egg crate, and then just some PVC, and now I have all my uh, little live rock rubble that I have there, um, and... If I don't want to use a frag plug, I'll just glue some frags onto uh, some of this rock here. So this will, just got a couple of little frags here, some zoas, and then the uh, Kenya tree that's in here right now. So uh, a lot of frags. That'll give me plenty of room here to store a good amount of frags, especially if I t decide to start fragging off some of the corals that I have in the main display. Um, maybe potentially selling some of them or trading them uh, with the local fish store or with some other reefers locally. 
so you can see that uh, area there and also uh, what I did I recalibrated my pH probe I was having a low pH in this tank and I wasn't sure what it was um, so I decided to also recalibrate my pH probe and to my surprise it wasn't that far off so um, yeah so those were the changes that I've made um, to the tank I'm just better preparing this for a uh, reef tank um, everything hasn't been all smooth sailing um, fortunately have ran into some hiccups here uh, if you look over here my uh, one of my WP40s the motor actually died on me and I've had these things since February and one of them died on me so I was pretty upset about that contacted the person that I bought them from and the only suggestion they gave to me was that I would be able to buy a replacement motor and I wouldn't have to buy the whole new uh, WP40 so the motor is just uh, this back portion here with the power cable on it and that was probably about uh, I would say half the price of what a new one would cost so it worked out for me in the end but I was kind of upsetting that one of those died on me and I didn't even have it for a complete year um, so before I had my um, RODI unit outside here on my uh, back porch and uh, had my storage containers out here as well and Two times this dog right here, yes, you booby dog, she chewed up my uh, tubing because she's a puppy and that's all she likes to do is chomp on stuff. So she chewed up the, the uh, RODI tubing that I had going into uh, that hose there and all the tubing, and I had to order it. So what I did to fix that was I moved all my stuff. And I moved it into the garage. So, show you how that's set up now. So now I have my tubing. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. This is what she did. I went outside and this is what was left of my RODI tubing here. You can just see where she just chewed it all up. So now I have it out here in the garage, my RODI water and salt water bin, and the RODI unit down there, and then the uh, cords for it go all the way around, outside to the garage, outside to where the water connection is. So this will work out a lot better for me. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of organization up in here, but I'm liking this a lot more. Right, so that does it. Um, my apologies for how long this video was, but it was a pretty big event for me and had a lot of stuff to cover. So um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and see the progress of this uh, reef tank coming to life now. Um, just thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for uh, future updates.